News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, we are expecting yet another day with record warm temperatures. This morning, though, starting off on a bit of a cloudy note, also some foggy spots out there. We take a live look from our Lancaster Sky Cam. It's pretty tough to see right now, but we have uh, seen these visibilities coming down through the overnight hours and now as we go into the early morning hours. Visibilities as of the latest observation coming in just a little bit over one mile in Lancaster at this hour. Seeing temperatures 48 degrees. That dew point also matching the temperature, so that brings that relative humidity in, as you would expect, with some fog forming at 100 percent. So, uh, at least uh, pretty muggy out there in terms of how much moisture is in the air. So, we are dealing with some patchy, dense fog, and it's really centered in some of our eastern counties at this hour. See eight mile visibilities in York, no problems there, but you go just a little farther to the north. Harrisburg, less than one mile visibilities there. We go farther east, even around Coatesville. Uh, some pretty dense fog, around a quarter mile visibilities in Chester, in parts of Chester County. You see that uh, darker area. That's a um, sign, at least on our map, where the densest fog is at this hour. So you want to use caution as you're out and about this morning. Uh, we're going to be watching for this patchy fog to eventually lift out of here. The other factor we've got going on today are the mild temperatures. We're starting off in the upper 40s and low 50s, seeing 50 in York at this hour, 47 in Landisburg. We head over to the east, Lebanon at 45 degrees, Shimokin 47, even around Ephrata and Lancaster, both again at 48. Degrees. Right now, we are seeing a fair amount of clouds across the region. Some breaks in the clouds, though, as we watch for a warm front to eventually lift to the northeast. It's still down to our south, a couple of showers back towards Pittsburgh, but eventually that warm front will lift through and it will start to get pretty warm, toasty for this time of the year. Mostly cloudy skies here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. Delta, York County in the background. Don't be surprised later today, especially in our southern counties, you might see some sunshine for a period of time today. It might be brief in some spots before rain starts to move in with the cold front later today. So scattered showers arriving late, I think between the hours of 4 and 7. That's when the rain will arrive from the northwest down to the southeast. But yeah, 64 to 70, that would be breaking the old record, which was 59 degrees. Into tonight, showers should be wrapping up for us after midnight, and it will turn breezy and much cooler. Lows falling down into the upper 30s. And it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system for us as we go into tomorrow because the temperatures, well, they're going to be much cooler, 42 to 46 degrees for those highs. Clouds will be on the increase through the day, and we'll be tracking our next storm system, which may actually start off as a brief wintry mix late tomorrow, more likely, though, early Tuesday morning, and it will eventually change over to some plain rain. I'll talk more, more about that here in a second. The Almanac shows yesterday's high, 56, a mile the day overall. 39 is the average high this time of the year, 45, 20 degrees above normal, and we picked up right around a tenth of an inch of rainfall. Now, we're looking at the satellite and radar imagery across parts of Texas and the deep south. This is just a textbook blizzard ongoing in Texas. Wind gusts of 60 miles per hour, of course, the severe weather that we've been talking about this morning. And then the rain stretches all the way up into upstate New York, and we're watching for this warm front, which right now is to the south. It will eventually lift through, and that's when we'll get into some of the sunshine before the front comes in later this afternoon with some of those showers around. Rain wraps up by midnight, and we start to clear things out at least temporarily before more clouds start to move back in. And here is our next storm system. You see a little bit of that wintry mix trying to work in late tomorrow. And then as we go through the overnight hours, that pink color there, that could be some sleet, maybe a a brief period of freezing rain before eventually temperatures warm up above freezing for everybody. I do not think this is going to be a major problem for us. A, the ground is very warm, and B, this is going to be a, a fast moving system overall. Temperatures already pretty borderline as the precipitation begins. So, uh, I like to think of a plain rain here on Tuesday, especially in the morning, tapering to some showers. Showers continue for us on Wednesday into early Thursday morning. Then, hey, I think New Year's Eve festivities shouldn't have any problems. 46 degrees, a little breezy too. New Year's Day is looking dry right now. And then a big cool down going into next weekend. So one more day of record warmth. I think this December will be one to remember in terms of warmth as a whole because, yeah, it could be number one warmest December on record as well. That's amazing. And see, the winter is finally coming. Finally. Yeah, we got flurries there on Saturday. What a concept. Yeah. It just takes, takes till, the, you know, January to see it. It seems so out of the ordinary now. <laughs> it is, yeah, absolutely. But I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. All right, so.